Troy students flooded into the Trojan Center ballrooms on Thursday night and came face to face with the story of Mrs. Kimba Smith. A story that for Troy students begins with a familiar chapter. The story started out when I was in college and I basically got involved with a guy that would be on campus. I would see him pick up other girls that were on the dean's list in sororities. And eventually um, I met him and we ended up getting into this relationship and he was a drug dealer. Never in a million years would I thought I would have been in a relationship with a drug dealer. Kimba says that the relationship went on for the next three and a half years, going from peaceful to abusive and love turned to fear. He ended up killing his best friend because he thought his best friend was cooperating with authorities and the federal government basically had started this big investigation and they wanted him. Eventually I turned myself into the authorities, seven months pregnant, um, scared to death and he was murdered and when he was killed the tables kind of turned and the prosecutor ended up putting his drug weight on me. And that drug weight amounted to 255 kilograms of crack cocaine. And Smith, though she never handled, used, or sold the drugs involved, found herself behind bars. So ultimately, I was sentenced to 24 and a half years in federal prison, and I ended up serving six and a half years after President Clinton granted me executive clemency. This room may be empty right now, but it's no question that Troy students and faculty in attendance did not leave empty handed, but instead left with the lasting image and the powerful story of Mrs. Kimba Smith. It's just really cool how someone can turn um, such a tragic event and tell people and relay their stories back to other people and hopefully make a difference. It's a really good example for us to, uh, to look at and to, um, to just model our lives after just to be aware of maybe the signs of, of people that may not be out for our, our well-being. I've been very grateful to have had the opportunity to have a second chance, but at the same time, I've also been committed to sharing the story because I don't want any other young person or college student to have the experience that I've had. Ryan Renfro, Troy, Trojan Vision News.